Hello and welcome. My name is Kyle Roberts and I'm a senior technical marketing engineer with F5 Security and Distributed Cloud Group. Today we'll be discussing OWASP Automated Threat OAT008 Credential Stuffing. Credential stuffing is the automated injection of stolen username and password pairs into website login forms in order to fraudulently gain access to user accounts. With up to a 2% login success rate, that means that 1 million stolen credentials can take over 20,000 accounts. Let's look a little bit deeper at the attack lifecycle. When data breaches occur, oftentimes millions of usernames and password combinations are stolen and sold on the dark web. From there, the buyers are able to leverage a sophisticated arsenal of bots, automation, and evasion techniques to perform credential stuffing against different web properties. We define attacker sophistication as the ability to emulate real human behavior, real devices, and real browsers as closely as possible. Attackers have a plethora of automation tools available, and as they increase sophistication, they also increase cost. Now let's have a look at a couple of different credential stuffing automation tools. OpenBullet2 is an automation attack toolkit with lots of add-on integrations and modules. It's open source and it's available on GitHub repo. OpenBullet allows an attacker to easily build automation, import proxy lists, and leverages config files to instruct the tool how to customize and automate the attack for each target. Let's jump straight into the tool and take a look at the configuration and a live attack using OpenBullet2. The first thing an attacker would do is import some proxies to bypass any potentially blocked attributes. If we go to proxyscrape.com freebies free proxy list, we can download a list of free HTTP proxies. Now let's open this file and copy out the proxies. Back inside of OpenBullet2, we can add a new proxy group and paste in our proxies. The tool allows us to run an automated test against each proxy and identify any non-working proxies. We can also delete any untested proxies so we are left with a working list of IP addresses for our attack. The next piece of the attack is the combo list or word list. These are the files that contain compromised credentials from a data breach that have been bought and sold. We can easily import the combo list and reference it in our attack. The next and most important part of an open bullet attack is the configuration file. The configs allow you to stack different HTTP processes, parse out cookies, headers, and visualize your attack before launching it. Now let's go ahead and launch our attack. We will specify our combo list that we imported, our proxy group that we added, the config file that we created, and the number of bots to run our attack. As we run our attack, you can see that our proxy IPs that we specified and imported are being used, and there are five threads by five different bots. Each account is being checked for success keys that were configured to determine if the credentials are valid. You can also see that four credentials have failed and one of them was successful. Looking back at our bot defense dashboard, our dashboard is nicely lit up. If you look at the events, you can see all of the post requests toward our app sign-in endpoint. Also, notice the variety of IP addresses and countries. These are the proxies that we were able to import into OpenBullet2. We've identified the traffic type here as malicious automation, but the automation type is still token missing. This is because although OpenBullet2 has many features and types of automation and evasion techniques, it still does not natively execute JavaScript. This would lead an attacker to retool and pick a more sophisticated attack automation tool as long as the attack is still worth it. Most websites that we interact with every day, online banking, e-commerce, travel sites, and others consist of large web applications built on hundreds of thousands of lines of JavaScript. These web pages are not simple documents, so simulating convincing transactions at the network level is extremely complex. At this point, it makes more sense for an attacker to automate activity at the browser level. Selenium has since become the go-to solution for browser automation. Let's go ahead and kick off the credential stuffing attack with Selenium. We can see the script initiates the Chrome browser, and it begins executing the credential stuffing from the file. The JavaScript is being executed, and the level of human emulation is much higher than the previous attacks. Let's head back over to the bot defense dashboard and see what it looks like. Looking back at the bot defense dashboard, we can see that we are still detecting the malicious automation. The main thing that I want to call out here is that the automation type is no longer token missing. 
Now we see that the automation type is threat intelligence. The Selenium attack, being much more sophisticated, is running our JavaScript so we can collect our signals about the client. This is where the threat intelligence comes from as we collect the signals and identify that it is not human. From here, the attacker has some different options. Since we're mitigating the attack after retooling multiple times, the attacker will get better and better at imitating human-like mouse movements and keystrokes, as long as the attack target is still worth it. Now, if the attacker is still highly motivated, they may move on to human click farms. These humans do not have to add entropy to their mouse movements or keystrokes, because they're real humans, but they still need to spoof devices and browsers. F5 is uniquely positioned to help you solve these challenges by meeting your customers where they are. With our flexible bot and fraud deployment models, we provide a variety of insertion points and connectors to help you deliver superior efficacy without reliance on traditional controls like CAPTCHA and MFA. F5 offers these pre-built connectors for application platforms like F5 Distributed Cloud, Big IP, and Nginx, e-commerce platforms like Salesforce Commerce Cloud, Adobe, and popular CDNs like AWS CloudFront and Cloudflare. I hope you enjoyed our credential stuffing attack demo covering OWASP OAT008. Thanks again for viewing. We'll see you next time.